So Fine Fine has created their own version of Stream Deck and it is called the D6 Stream Controller. As a budget-friendly alternative, let's see if it can stand to the competition from other stream controllers. As per usual guys, we'll check its physical overview, features and more. We'll tell you everything you need to know coming up. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box? The stream controller itself, obviously. A USB-A to USB-C cable around 6 feet. And the manual. Now let's check out some physical overview. So the body is crafted from durable plastic featuring a smooth texture on the top and a sandblasted finish underneath. If you prefer a different color, it is also available in white and pink. It features 15 LCD screen buttons made from acrylic material that resists micro scratches even after extensive cleaning. These buttons are larger than usual and it is fully programmable, allowing customization of both visuals and functions. We'll explore these features further when discussing the software. Over here, you'll find the Ampligame logo, a USB-C input, and an RGB control button. Below, there are rubber feet to keep the stream controller securely in place. If you are curious about its dimensions, then you can check this out and pause the video. We might as well check its weight, so here you go. I guess that's all for its physical overview. Now let's check out its features. The standout feature of this stream controller is its LCD screen buttons, which can be integrated with your apps, whether it be for gaming, work, or media use. The bright LCD keys are fully customizable, allowing you to change their icons and personalize your programs. This makes it easy to remember each button's specific functions for seamless use. This works with both Windows and Mac OS. While gaming is not typically done on Mac OS, this stream controller can be used for productivity purposes as well. With 15 LCD keys capable of triggering countless actions, you can control your apps, launch social media posts, adjust audio, mute your mic, control LED lights, and much more, all with a single touch. Of course, to unlock these features, we'll need to explore the software. So, let's take a closer look. So, this is the software and for most of you who have been following the channel, this will look very familiar. However, for the benefit of new viewers, we'll take some time to review it again. There are 5 sections with the icons for the store and settings located at the top left side and under it is the screen selection. Below the top selection is the scene selection area and the bottom left is where we can find the device we are using the software with, which is the D6. On the right side, you'll find the downloaded plugins. You can easily drag and drop any functions you want onto a key. These plugins can be obtained by going to the store icon, plugins tab, where you'll find a wide variety to choose from. Simply download whatever you need. In the middle section is the scene area where you can customize each key accordingly. Finally, over here, you'll find the options to customize the selected plugins. Each plugin comes with different settings, so interface may change depending on which one you choose. I've already downloaded a few plugins that I'll be using with this stream controller. Before we dive into them, let me first demonstrate some basic functions. First, go to the toolbox and drag Open Function into one of the empty key slots. You can either rename the program you are about to run or leave the name blank. Next, decide whether to select a folder or launch a program. For this example, let's choose to run a program like Resolve. By default, the software will use the program's icon, but you can easily change it by right-clicking the icon. From there, you can select local file, use a screen capture, or pick an icon from the icons library. Once you're done, simply press the customize button to launch the program you've assigned to it. There is a lot more you can do with the D6 controller. You can integrate with OBS, use media keys, create custom macros, check the weather, and much more. The possibilities are endless. You just need to explore them fully to unlock their potential. Now, let's wrap up by discussing the things that I love about the D6 controller as well as the areas that could be improved. Let's start with the problems first. 
the smooth plastic surface of the D6 tends to attract fingerprints easily, which can be frustrating at least for the black version. Even after light use, you'll notice it smudges all over the body, requiring frequent cleaning to maintain its sleek appearance. While the RGB lighting on the controller looks great, there is no way to adjust or control it through the software, which feels like a missed opportunity. Ideally, users should be able to customize the RGB lighting to match their setup or mood, but this feature is unfortunately absent. Though it has a physical button to change the RGB colors, it doesn't have a white steady color for white and black build like mine. Lastly, certain plugins such as the HW Info 64 and the Berator World Time seem to cause the device to freeze or stop working. While majority of the plugins work well, this specific one seems to trigger errors, leading to some frustrations when trying to rely on the controller for more advanced functions. Well, I'm not sure if this is an issue with the unit itself that I have right now or the software just needs to be updated to handle these plugins more smoothly. I spoke to Fine Fine already regarding this matter and they assured me that they will fix this issue immediately. Other than these three things, everything else is good and one of the things that I love about the D6 controller is its large LCD screen buttons. These buttons are not only easy to read but also large enough to press comfortably making them ideal for people with visual impairments or those who need clear, easy to press controls. The RGB lighting of the D6 is well designed with lights that are evenly distributed across the deck itself. It is subtle but effective way to enhance the overall aesthetic of your setup. The D6 Stream controller feels solid and durable in hand, which is important for a device that may be used frequently during long streaming or gaming sessions. The plastic construction, although lightweight, is sturdy and gives impression of being able to withstand normal wear and tear without easily breaking or cracking. Another is the software interface is intuitive and easy to navigate, which is great for both beginners and experienced users. It doesn't overwhelm you with unnecessary features but still offers enough customization to suit different needs. For those who want to dive into creating custom macros or controlling various apps, the layout is simple and it doesn't require a steep learning curve. The D6 controller comes with a variety of built-in plugins that are already quite impressive and there's an extensive selection of available in their plugin store. What's great is that all of these plugins are free and I'm excited to see even more added in the future. I have two more ideas to make the D6 controller even better. First, I think Fine Fine should create a riser stand with adjustable levels to make the deck easier to see. More like a keyboard riser of some sort if you know what I mean. Second, it would be great to have an onboard memory or cloud storage for your profiles, plugins, and downloaded icons. This way, if you use the D6 controller with a different PC or laptop, your profiles are ready to go. Anyway, if you'll ask me if I'll recommend this, well that is a yes and you should get one for yourself already so check out the links in the description below. If you think this is not for you, then watch the other stream controller reviews we have on your screen. So that's it guys, this is Mac, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.